That's right, I stole Mr. Beast's video idea and I've put it in The Sims 4. Mr. Beast is even here as our unwilling participants. He looks so happy to be here, doesn't he? So I have this rather empty house. We have 100,000 simoleons and we, oh my God, is that a bicycle riding itself? Oh my God, pause. <laughs> Why is there a bicycle riding itself? There is literally a bicycle riding itself. What on earth is going on? There is a spirit. This video is already cursed. There is a ghost in my game. <laughs> now it has disappeared. What the hell was going on there? Anyway, we have 100,000 simoleons to spend, but we only have two minutes to spend it. Starting now. All right, we're going to start with the kitchen. You know when you put yourself in these situations, well, you don't normally put yourself in these situations, but you know when you watch those TV shows, like those game shows, and there's a game show host, and the people in the show are just like, oh my god, and they just freeze, and they don't do what they're supposed to do. And you're at home watching, like, come on, just do it. It looks so easy. It's only when you're in that situation yourself, and you realize, actually, I have no idea what I'm doing, and this is actually really difficult difficult and it's like too much pressure and you don't know what to do. Oh my God, why did I choose those stools? I have honestly no idea what I'm doing. Literally no idea. I'm choosing the worst beds in the world, worst color combinations. We're literally like halfway through and I don't even know. Oh my God, why have I chosen these bloody end tables? Oh my God, there's so much to think about when building a house. Why did I give myself literally just two minutes to do this? This is not enough time. This is literally not enough time. Oh my God, we've got to think about plants. Oh my God, am I literally going for the pampas grass? Oh my God, I must be desperate to go for the pampas grass. Okay, we're literally halfway through the time now. I haven't even done half the house. This is a terrible omen. I think that I'm going to mess this up. I'm literally just buying a load of random sofas. I am hoping one of these sofas will work. Oh my god, why did I choose the most cursed one in the world? I'm not even thinking about where I'm placing all this stuff right now. I literally do not have the time to think about that right now. Do we want a fireplace? Why bloody not? Okay, we literally have like 40 seconds. I think I'm messing up. Okay, come on. What kind of chairs do we need? Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not know what we're doing. Have we even done a kitchen yet? Yeah, we've done a kitchen. Oh my god, we haven't even done a bathroom we've got 20 seconds left so we do the bathroom okay we're just gonna do these toilets i know we've got two bathrooms in the house so i'm gonna have to get two lots of everything we need two lots of toilet roll oh my god this is so much to deal with i don't think i can do it i can't do it i'm gonna cry this is literally traumatizing me i am absolutely traumatized this house is gonna kill me i am literally traumatized i'm lost i don't know what to do we do not have much time left i'm not even looking oh look and we ran out of bloody time well isn't that lovely have i done every room of the house i think i've actually got enough stuff to do every room i think oh my god i've got to do an oven <laughs> Whoopsie. We didn't even spend all the money. Why did I get like 10 sofas? But I did get an oven. This is going to be the most terrible house I think I've ever done in my life. If you guys have seen my build videos before, you will know that I absolutely hate doing kitchen. So whenever I do a build video, I always do the kitchen first. I'm just wondering like, how are the people living here actually going to cook? I actually feel a little bit bad for them. I am terribly sorry. You know, maybe they're just on a raw vegan diet. I watched a documentary once about raw vegans and they literally do not cook anything. That is what I imagine these people to be like they're just raw vegans they don't cook anything in life they just eat their vegetables from the fridge and that is good enough for them i'm pretty sure over in the park there's a grill too so they can just go to the park if they really want to grill some plantains or something not an issue oh my god that is literally it for the kitchen <laughs> this is a bad omen it was a mysterious invisible bicycle it has cursed this challenge from the beginning the second worst thing i hate doing in the sims 4 is bathroom so i always do the bathroom second this house i believe has two oh no i just realized we have three bathrooms. Well, this ensuite, absolutely nothing is going to be going on in there. Do you know what? At least I took the time to get not only one roll of toilet roll, but two rolls of toilet roll. I do not understand the psychopaths who build houses in The Sims 4, but they just don't bother putting toilet roll in the bathrooms. I know technically it's not a functional object. I know that. I'm not stupid. But why would you not give your Sims toilet rolls? Are you psychopaths? Although we do have electric toilets, which I'm sure have bidet options, so it's not going to be an issue. The biggest thing I miss about living in Japan, literally the biggest thing I'd miss about living there is not being able to have a B-Day anymore. Why do we not have B-Days in the UK? Even the European style B-Days, like the manual ones that just come out of a tap, honestly, why don't we have them? They are literally a godsend. Like I know I'm getting a little bit deep and too personal here, but you know when you have to wipe to the point where you're wiping so much that it literally starts bleeding? That does not happen with B-Days, I promise you. Trust me when I say we are literally missing out in life without having B-Days. It is literally traumatizing, but not the 
traumatizing as the state of these bathrooms. The bedrooms, again, are gonna be extremely random. I don't know why I made these design choices. Don't judge me. It's not my fault, I'm an idiot. I guess it's not cheating if I change the swatches because we do still have all the objects here. But of course, none of these swatches actually match because nothing matches in The Sims 4. And if you didn't think this bill could get any more cursed, we have the Pampas Grass. Pampas Grass is honestly the most cursed trend I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why people are still putting Pampas Grass in their houses. Oh my God, why did I go for this mirror? I mean, we could size down this rug. That would be a smart idea. I mean, I'd say this is probably the best room in the house so far. The other bedroom is a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't look as empty. Although it does still look absolutely terrible. I will admit that. We have literally the most pointless bathroom in the world. They literally have a robe in there. They have a bathrobe. That is this only room's purpose in life, to be a bathrobe carrier. Now, this little room up here, honestly, I don't know what to do. Although, oh my God, I just realized we actually have a closet. This is great filler space. This closet is going straight in here. We've got a bookshelf for children. Oh, well, a bookshelf is a bookshelf at the end of the day. I mean, I feel like in real life, a lot of people have just a random room in their house full of random furniture. I mean, in this house, every room is a random room with random furniture, but this kind of room where you just keep the computer and it's got random stuff in, I think that's quite relatable. And oh my God, we literally have this horrendous tall bookshelf. It doesn't even fit in the house. It's too tall. Does it fit downstairs? Okay, I'm gonna have to try and do something with it. If we go up a level in the house, it's literally just like in the way. <laughs> what if we size it down? Okay, there we go. We can use it size down and see, oh my God, I forgot to do a TV. Like all these people have for entertainment is just kids books. I'm terribly sorry. And oh my God, what are we gonna do with all these sofas? I don't need them. Oh, maybe we could just put a sofa in the kitchen. Why not? There's literally nothing else going on in this space. Oh my God, we may as well have another sofa in here. It doesn't even fit. This sofa's too long. Where are we gonna put the sofa? Okay, we can fit it upstairs. The house is turning into a hotel lobby with all of these sofas. At least it's comfortable. Although saying that this sofa is literally the opposite of comfortable. In fact, all of the sofas in The Sims 4, why are the backs? Can we just have a really deep discussion about Sims 4 sofas? I wanna make it deep, all right? Why on earth are the backs like so straight and strict? They never look plump, especially this base game so far. It is honestly traumatizing. Why is it so straight? If I ever wanted gay conversion therapy, all I need to do is sit on one of these sofas and it would sort me right out. But look, I think this is a pretty good job seeming that I went into this extremely unprepared to not knowing what to do. I think it would only be fair to give myself now five minutes to complete the house. But I know it's kind of cheating to start all over again with $100,000 and five minutes. So I've cut it in half to $50,000 in five minutes. I think that's a pretty good compromise. Starting now. Now I thought to myself just then, oh, I can relax now. Oh my God, I must remember the oven relaxing. I need to remember the bloody oven for this house. If I don't do an oven, honestly, what is even the point? You can't live your life as a, what's it, a raw vegan. It's just not sustainable. Okay, we actually have a little bit more choice this time. We can do some lovely countertops. Oh my God, this is literally amazing. We even have enough time to do the things. What are they called? Island top counters, whatever they are. Can't forget the nice bin. We can even have enough time to do a microwave. Why not? Although we've spent like a minute on the kitchen, we probably need to hurry up. Pampas grass, why not? We're bringing it back. We've got two pampas grasses now. Although we've already spent a lot of the budget only on the kitchen. Oh my God, I gotta remember. Okay, we've got three bathrooms, literally three. Yes, they are all gonna be looking exactly the same because I do not have the time to start each one individually. Yes, they are all getting electric toilet seats. Um, yes, I cannot forget the loo roll for all of them. That's right, we call it loo roll in the UK, not toilet roll. Okay, I really need to stop buying the most expensive items because we literally do not have any money left. Whoopsie daisy, that was a bad mistake. Okay, this time we do not need a million different sofas, only a few is fine. And oh my God, I cannot forget TV, please. We cannot forget TV this time. It would be awful if I did not do a TV. Okay, we're literally over halfway there. I have nowhere near even halfway finished this house. I don't think I'm gonna make it. There is literally no chance I'm gonna make it this time. Okay, we can't have a huge table as last time because it was too big. There's so many thoughts going through my mind right now. Do we want, yes, we need paintings. I completely forgot about paintings before. I'm just gonna chuck a load of random ones down. Absolutely no idea. Although they are taking a lot of the budget. We are soon going to have absolutely no money and I don't know what I'm going to do when we have no money left. And let's go for a reasonably sized bookshelf today. Nothing too huge. Okay, these ones are literally perfect. And the computer, oh my god, I completely forgot about a computer. Computers take up so much money in this game, it's ridiculous. Okay, we've literally got over a minute left. Will we have enough time? Oh my god, we've literally got no money and we've got so much stuff to do and we've got no money to do it in. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're not going to make it. You know what? At least I'm trying my very best. Oh my god, where are the RE's 
resource. I mean, I'm not really trying my very best. I'm trying as much as my brain can cope with right now because this is literally traumatizing. Okay, we're gonna have a little girl's bedroom. I decided it's too late now. We can't go back. We're doing a kid's room. I've decided, are we doing a toddler? Yes, it looks like we're doing a toddler's room. Oh my God, now we need toddler toys. Why did I do this? This was a terrible idea. Okay, we've got about 40 seconds left now. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna be looking at the time because I'm so concentrated on doing this house. Okay, we just need some miscellaneous utensils and things to decorate the house with. Do we want a laundry machine? Yes, we do. We've only got 20 seconds to get one. Oh my God. And we've literally got no money. I think we're going to have to sell something. Laundry day pack. Why is it not so easy to find the laundry day stuff in this game? It is beyond me. Okay, do we have enough money for a washing machine? No, we do not. Okay, let me get rid of this random chest. Oh my God, we've literally got 10 seconds left and I do not have enough time to worry about bloody laundry day. Okay, we've got enough time for a washing machine. Thank God. <gasps> okay. Okay, we've got three seconds left. I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay, that was terrifying. I've got chills down my spine. When I say I've got chills, I'm literally freezing cold. I need to put a jumper on or my dressing gown on now. Okay, I think we actually have a really big amount of stuff. Oh my God, look at all these electric toilets. Oh my God. But you know what we're starting with? We are starting with the kitchen. As I said, I literally cannot stand doing kitchens. It is my attitude in life. Get all the worst jobs out the way. First thing in the morning, then they're done and they're done. You don't have to think about it anymore. It is the best attitude to have. Oh my God, guys, I literally forgot the kitchen sink. I cannot believe it. I thought I learned my lesson with forgetting the oven, but now we forgot the sink. We're gonna have to, oh, for Christ's sake, we're gonna have to steal one of the bathroom sinks, aren't we? And put it in here. At least I tried. I tried my best. Is there a swatch that is going to match? Oh my god, there definitely is not a matching swatch. <laughs> And you know, apart from the fact that I did forget to do a bathroom mirror, I admit that. I think the bathroom does not look too bad. Unfortunately, this bathroom does not have a sink because the sink is being used in the kitchen. You know, I guess they can wash their hands under the bath tap. It's not a massive issue. They got soap in there. What more do you need? Why did I decide last minute to do a girly bedroom? I have absolutely no idea where this idea came from. I wasted way too much time on it, but we're committed. Now, guys, I have a serious question to ask anybody who's a parent or who lives with young children, where do you actually put a potty? Do you put a potty in the bathroom or do you put it in the kid's bedroom? Do you put it in the hallway? Where do potties actually go? I wanna know, please let me know if you do know the answer to that question. In fact, I'm not gonna put it in the kid's bedroom. I'm gonna put it in this bathroom because it's so open and barren in here. We need something to fill up the space. And yes, the pampas grass is back. Although saying that this room literally looks worse than I think it did before. And I just realized we've got three beds and I have absolutely no idea where the third bed is going to go. Oh my god, literally, what am I going to do with this bed? Okay, I'm going to have to turn the laundry room into like a spare bedroom. I mean, it makes sense. It's just most spare bedrooms only have like a single bed in them. But then I don't have enough room for this laundry stuff. It's going to have to go up here, I think. Although, oh my god, now we've got the chest of drawers. What if I put it on the landing? Nope, we've got a computer desk there. Oh my god, there's literally got to be somewhere. Okay, it's going here. It's popping off in the corner. At least we have a TV now, so they're not totally depressed. Oh my god, what is it with me? and these tall vase potted plants. I have absolutely no idea what to do with them all. And oh my God, this huge potted plant, I don't know what to do. Can we size it down? Okay, I think we can size it down safely. It's not causing too many shadow issues. Okay, yes it is. See, when you size things up and down, they actually like get weird shadows. I don't know why, it's incredibly annoying. Anyway, it looks like it's gonna have to be chucked outside. Now look, I actually do not think the house is too bad. It's not very attractive. I am personally not sexually aroused by this house, but but it's all right. Like you could live here. It's not too bad. It's not too dissimilar to some people's homes. This is certainly not as bad as my last house that I tried to build when I Google translated a house building tutorial 20 times. If you like funny and chaotic build challenges, make sure you check out that one up here. See you in the next one.